<laughs> I don't understand how people were bad rapping Coldplay. I don't get that. Nah, They're man. a universally uh, famous band. They have a number of hits. They just aren't a hard rock band. Uh, they're a more melodic, orchestrally, uh, symphonic-driven kind of uh, pop rock. Um, and they're not offensive, and they, they didn't uh, threaten anybody. Uh, until somebody, and some idiot uh, said that uh, they were lip-syncing. I'll ask Cameron that in a moment. I thought it was obvious that they were not. If, any, if somebody hadn't pointed out uh, the Black Berets and the Black Panther thing, and her old deal, I would never have even thought about it. Is that right? I would. It never crossed my mind. Uh, they came, you know, up there, and I didn't see the X until I watched it again last night. I was too caught up in how and in, in just how it was so well done. Yeah. And then Bruno and them, the whole thing was seamless. There wasn't a missed beat. There was nothing. Yeah. The camera work was great. The coming together at the end of all of y'all was just was just great. Uh, uh, Cameron Whalem is here too. He was hey. there on the stage. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you too. What what was it like to stand there? I I mean, do you even I mean, is it all just a blur to you? It goes really really fast. It's and, twelve minutes total. Yeah, well, and especially this time we just had one song. You know what I mean? So part last of, time, part of one song. Well, part of one song, right? Um, well, to start off, like you said, I didn't notice the whole Black Panther Me either. Movie, and we rehearsed with them every day with their afros and stuff on and so that, that never came up that in never crossed my mind I knew that it was a you know um, pro black song or something like that but I never got the whole Black Panther deal and as far as the X it was just that's the same never thing thought about it. it was the same thing Michael Jackson won when he exactly did that was part the part that I thought is that she was maybe doing kind of a you know kind of a you know small homage yeah. and a, a little nod to yeah. him Mm -hmm. But it never crossed my mind that she was being defiant and that race was ever even any part of it. People just want something to talk about. They, they just look for something just to, just to argue about. Can you yeah. believe they're doing a protest at the NFL headquarters? People are stupid. <laughs> uh, I mean, it, look, get something else to do. Mm -hmm. do, uh, do something productive, for goodness sake. So y'all were out there for how long rehearsing? Uh, well, off and on, maybe a couple months. But so we we rehearsed a couple weeks, then stopped, and then we went back. We were in California for like three weeks leading up to yeah. it, and then we were in L.A. and then went to San Jose or whatever Santa Clara, yeah. whatever it was. So I say about a month, month and a half altogether. Well, um, who put this together? I mean, who who wrote the uh, montage of tunes and how they would go and how the changes would go and the I, dancing and I think. Um, I have no idea. Hmm. <laughs> I think Coldplay, um, Coldplay asked Bruno and Beyonce. They asked us all to be a part of it. Really, a smart move yeah. to just to bring all that together. It was very, very smart. Yeah, and then with Bruno and Beyonce having done it before, they just kind of all like they helped Coldplay out as far as the timing and the movement, movement of the song and stuff like that. So it was all it was kind of a collaborative effort. Yeah. As far as you know, them having the experience of doing it before. And they just helped him out, and it just worked out. It seems like to me, and that camera work, again, was uh, just so smooth. Where did you guys come from? Because Cole plays there, and all of a sudden, there's Mark Ronson. <laughs> and I'm like, where the hell did he come from? And then y'all are all there. Were yeah. you on, on a separate stage, or did you pop up from somewhere? A separate stage. Okay. We were. I mean, if you look closely, you'll see us down there dancing and jumping around with all the, the crowd. On oh, the floor. okay. And then we just came up on the last song. And then just got into place, but like you said, the camera work was perfect. So you camera cues were just great, yeah. and I mean, you're just you know there, there, and then you know she comes up, and then then the whole then you know she joins in. Mm -hmm. But the way that it was all put together was just uh, beautifully done, and it was just <coughs> one long, uh, twelve minute song. Yeah. And then the homage to Purple Rain and to Bruce and to and to you uh, two and James mm -hmm. Brown, mm -hmm. extremely well done. I don't know. How you can pick it apart? I thought it was uh, just just great. Well, again, I think nowadays people just have a problem with saying how great something is. So yeah, like, you have to say something. Whether it's you know <laughs> his shoe was dirty, like you have to say something. I think, I, and I I kind of just take it as a badge of honor. You know what I mean? If, yeah. if don't nobody say anything, then it's like, well, they weren't. You know, exactly. You, that, that that means that you were boring, mm -hmm. and there's nothing mm -hmm. worse than being boring. Mm -hmm. But we in fact taped it and watched it back right after it was on, just to go, damn, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that was really really <laughs> well done. So what's next for you guys? What are you up to? Actually, um, I think we're off for a minute. Bruno's doing his album now. Um, 
Hosting his album. His album. You, uh, well, okay. we'll see. Oh, okay. We'll see what happens with that. But I mean, he got to finish that up, and once he finishes, then we'll go back out. But I think I think that Super Bowl is gonna hold us over for a minute. Yeah. Just, yeah. You know. So the Grammys, um, he'll be there, but the band will not be performing. Right. Correct. Well, so the rumor was that we were doing that and not doing the Super Bowl, but. I mean, I guess maybe, it was maybe maybe at uh, at uh, some point even this song could be overplayed, but I don't think so. Well, I think the way it happened since it came out over a year ago, it yeah. kind of got to that point. Yeah. And now we kind of brought it back in a different way, so I think it kind of stretched. Well, it out. but just to hear it this 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 past Sunday, it just makes you jump every time mm -hmm. you hear it, and it, it it just there's a light that shines out of this song. So who is he working with on this record, if not you guys? Uh, well. We're we've had stuff to do with the coming up and the stuff with the songs, but he has his regular old producing team that he works with. But I mean, and play stuff just himself. Uh, yeah, him and a couple more guys. Wow. Hopefully, hopefully he'll take the uptown funk route and bring us out there again. But you know, we'll see. So, do you guys go back and add any horns or any vocals or anything? Sometimes, sometimes. I mean, like I said, we just gotta wait and see. It's the waiting game. It's the privacy of Bruno. Yeah, the, absolutely. Just the mystery. <laughs> well, thank you for the time. Y'all did a, a great job, and I, I you know, the, you know, just let these haters hate. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just absurd. Yeah, indeed. I talked to, to Blue Mitchell um, right after the performance, and I said, "Is this going to be your first Grammy? Because they got to win the Grammy." Man. Well, there, I, there's, they just, there's, the, I can't imagine that they, that this song did not permeate. This entire business, the 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 entire culture of music, was affected by this song. Yeah, infected and affected. I mean, it, it was just impossible. And who broke the song here in Memphis, Tennessee? Uh, Drake. I think right I, I think I, I think I played it first. Absolutely. So I should be cut in on this deal. You somehow. should be. I, I think we should talk. Would about you ask that. Bruno about that? I want to have a little, <laughs> I want to have, have a little chat with him. I think we before. should all discuss this. Thank you, Cameron. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It's, it's always good to see you and uh, come back anytime. Yes, sir. Uh, but y'all did a, a great job, and I, I just can't, I just don't get how people can pick this apart. I thought it was excellent. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. you. What are your plans for the weekend, yes. Valentine boy? Well, tomorrow we'll go to Bahama Breeze and have a few uh, a bunch of shots. A yeah. And strip naked. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pastor Whalem again. You, you, are, you are a preacher, man. You better, you better watch yourself. Nice to see y'all. Thank you. Thank you. The Whalems. Be right back.